Hello everyone. It is Wednesday. This is Charlotte. Come on in and let's get some crafting done. Welcome to my home. I have to admit to you, I'm not real sure what I'm even doing. This is a process video and it's all about medieval mirage. I have the new kit in front of me and it is called In the Company of Owls and Raptors. It is just beautiful. I don't want to give it all away. You will see it as we go along, but I mean, isn't she absolutely gorgeous? I mean, she is so, she, she's like, take my breath away, beautiful. And Jarf, in the spirit of Jarf, I mean, look at that face. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we've got castles, we've got owls, we've got raptors, we've got princesses. We have everything, and um, I am doing something I normally don't do, and that is creating, excuse me, I'm going to have to reach in front of you here, that is creating journal ephemera before I create my journal. That is creating journal pages before I create my cover. So I am absolutely upside down on this. I'm having fun. I just decided let's put the camera on. Let's see what we're doing, what we can share. I've got lots of pages here that I'm working on. Look at those tags. Just look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful, and more beautiful. And I've also pulled out lots of Jarf's Medieval Mirage Past um, papers that I have. And I'm using a lot of these in, I, in my collage work. And I'm doing that because I just want to show how everything goes together. So you purchase one kit, you purchase a second kit, those two kits are going to go together. So, um, yeah, I'm having fun. I've got a curling up issue here that I need to take care of. I'm not worried about it. I know it'll be all right. Let's see what all have I done. I have a tag here that I'm not real sure. I think it goes in here, but I'm not too sure what I'm doing with that yet. Then I created a tag here with um, some collage. And this envelope I did complete. Um, I did some collage here, the owl stamp. This is from a different kit. Um, and this is from this kit. The envelope is from the owls and raptor. This owl stamp is from the owls and raptor, but this is not. Excuse me, but I just thought, how cute is this? It's just cute. So that is done. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this is an envelope that I did. And this will go on, um, this will be glued to a page. And um, I went ahead and I glued this. Fal I think it's a falcon. No, it's an owl. It's an owl. I think this guy might be a falcon. I'm not sure. But they are beautiful birds of prey. Um, maybe it's a raptor. I don't know. Anyway, this is going to... I see. I need some glue there. This is going to be a pocket within the uh, journal. Just beautiful. So I've collaged this. So that is basically done. Then I have, I um, channeled Rachel from uh, Roxy Creations. Wouldn't you just love to have hair like that, if even for a day? I mean, <laughs> this is just so pretty, pretty. So I collaged a uh, tag here, and this was the other half of this envelope. It went like that. And I went ahead and did some collage work here and on the back as well. And then this paper here is not Jarf's. There's very, very little of this in here, but it fit. This is all Jarf's here. 
So um, this is not Jarf's, but all the rest of it is. So there you will see in this just a tiny, tiny bit of um, a different paper. And I just created this with a little flip out like that. You could journal on here if you wanted to. Um, and I just thought that was cute. So that is done, unless I do more to it. I have a tag here. This is um, a past medieval mirage paper. I haven't done anything with that. And then we have this here. And I went ahead and um, added some vellum to this and made a pocket right there like that. And then this is a pocket. And so something will go in there. And then I had this from the kit that I really, really liked. And I am going to put this here like that. I'm just trying to decide if I want some fabric with that or not. So this is not done. I'm well on my way, but I'm not done. Then this was a Rachel idea. Thank you so much, Rachel. This is one of the postcards from the kits, and I used that as a as a flip out. And this is all the kit. This is a past uh, medieval mirage paper. This is not, and that's from this kit as well. And then what this is going to be is I haven't decided. This is a pocket right here, but I have not decided yet if I may go ahead and put another pocket on this side or maybe this side so they both open this way or maybe a belly. I don't know yet, so this is not done. And then I've got, I thought these were really cute. That I cut, but they come like this. Isn't that cute? So you've got a little tag here that opens up just like that. And you can journal in there. Or you could use this as a, um, you could use this like this on a book page. Um, you could use it just like this as a, like a tuck. You could use this where if we glue this down on both sides, you've got a pocket. When you turn the page, you've got a pocket on the other side. I'm not real sure what I am going to be doing with that right, right yet. Then I've got this one. We have got envelopes. So I think maybe I will work on, okay, we've got this. What did I do with this? Okay, this is a tag that folds with a uh, envelope here. So I think we'll work off of that. And then we've got, there's, there's birds like this all through the uh, kit. So the, the kit's just lovely. But this is what I was doing when I decided to turn the camera on. So let me see if I can get anywhere with this. So I just, I took an envelope and I just started to do some collaging. And I think this is going to go in the center of one of the signatures. And I have no idea how many signatures this is gonna have. I have no idea. I, I wanna repurpose a book, I think, for this. But I took this, um, this envelope here and I thought, if I sewed this in the center of the signature, then this would be a pocket. And when you flip this over, this would be a pocket. But I wanted her in the in the window, so whatever goes in here will go behind her. But isn't that? Oh, she's just so pretty. So I got as far as this, and I don't know if I want to leave this or if I want to do any collaging on this. I'm not sure, but. I was thinking, um, I was working on this side here, and the problem with this and me 
is that I am going to have to think and create and talk to you at the same time. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that's an issue. Some people say I don't I'm never quiet, so maybe this will work well for me, but let's get started. Um, this was one of the uh, older Medieval Mirage papers, and I just loved it. Even though there's no blue in there, I just think that's really pretty. I had wanted to start, was I was doing my layout, and I really wanted to start something like that. So I think these colors are so rich. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I didn't bring a book over here. Of course not. You know, why would anybody think I would be ready to go? Why would we think that, Charlotte? So I am going to start with this. I'm going to glue this. And I am just using scotch glue. Our grandsons, our twin grandsons' birthdays are today. Be 14. Just unbelievable. And then I was thinking, I kind of, I like that there like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is just, the whole, this whole process of creating a journal for me is very, very different from what I normally do. And I may prefer this. You never know. You know, why not try something new? Let's see. But this is so overdue, and I feel really, really bad about that. And I know I just like the idea. There's kind of blue up there, and I was wondering, do I want to go all the way with this? All the way across the bottom and then maybe add something on the top. Maybe, or do I want to cut it? Do I want to put maybe book page? Maybe I do. Maybe that's what I want to do. Okay, let's put this down because I know I want that there. Let's use this scrap because it's just pretty pretty. So I went to lunch yesterday with my mom and she's doing well. And that was good. Snip this off. Just snip this off right here. It's sticking to me. All right, let's put some book page. If I can get this to work, it's been working, but you know, when you want it to work, then it doesn't. I've got a tear ruler, but I don't want the tears. So I think maybe, don't want it right in, right in the center. So let's see what this, how this will look. And you know, it doesn't all have to be covered up. You don't have to cover up all of the envelope. That's not a big deal. So let's see what we think. I like that. So let's glue this down. And then I don't know if there's going to be any sewing. I think it, you know, I know that many, many of you like to create lots of ephemera and have it tucked away so that when you're doing a journal, you can go through what you have. And it makes sense to me. I mean, it does. It really makes sense to me. I just... I don't, don't typically work that way, but um, I think it might be nice to have paper that you can pull out and work from. 
instead of creating a journal and then creating the papers for it. And that's typically what I do. I think I'm gonna come over a little bit further like that. Put that down before I change my mind. That's another thing. I think when you're not on camera, you kind of have time to sit there and look at it, walk away from it, and come back to it and decide what you want to do. But then when you're doing a process video like this, you don't really have, I don't think, that option. And because I don't, well, the white is okay. We've got a little bit of white there, a little bit of, but I could... Where'd I put the labels? Let's see what I've got. I could use one of these little guys and don't think I want him well, if, he's, if I use this guy, he's looking out. That guy's looking out. Looks like a snowy owl, but I don't know if it is or not. That's really kind of cute. But, oh, I like that. And I like that. Oh, my goodness, Charlotte. Okay, so... Let me take care of this issue here. Let me see if I've got anything that we could use. This might work. Let's try this. See what happens. Tell the writing is so small. I think it goes this way. Well, it doesn't quite cover, so I don't know that that's going to work. I wonder. This might work. You don't have to have that. So let me try this. Um, my mom, let me sitting here watching me do this. I'm like, why would you want to sit here and watch me cut paper? But it is what we do, isn't it? And believe it or not, it's amazing how much you can learn by watching somebody collage and cut paper. And yeah, I mean, we all do it. So, and it's nice to have a little visit. And I kind of like the idea of having her there. But I don't, I don't really know that I need that. So I think... I'm going to let that go, but I like that. So let me, let's just do this before I change my mind. And we can say we're getting somewhere. I 
think it goes this way. I don't think it really matters. Let me put her over like that. That looks good. And I might come back. I might stamp something, but I don't think I need it. Isn't that pretty? I think that looks really, really good. So um, if we have this is going to be the first page that you're going to see. So I need something here that kind of complements her. So I did have, I wonder what this would look like if we... Those reds really clash. I don't like that at all. So let me look in my little stash here. Let's see what we've got. I don't think the blue would look good at all. The blue with the yellow. No, no, no. So I do have this, and I think... This might be really good. So let's see if I can do this without destroying this paper. I think this might work well. Yes, I like that. That goes really well. So we're going to start with this. I think this way. That's what you're going to see. So let's put that down. We'll do that. This here like this. Clip this off. Get that out of here. Make sure this is down. And so we've got that. And it might, because of that, maybe doing just a little bit of collage. Let's try this on the front. Let's see what happens. What if we Just took too much alike, I think. Okay, we'll come back to that because I'm not feeling that. So on this side, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Kind of like that. Aren't these nice? Aren't they so handsome? I wonder if we wanted to create pocket like this, then what we would have is one, two, three, possibly four pockets in this. If I went ahead and did something like that, 
do I want to do that? Well, if I do, I still need a back. So let's see what we've got. That would look good with that. Get some of these. Oh, wow, that's very bright. That would really be... That, that would be like knock your socks off bright, but I like it. But it's, yeah, that's pretty bright, but I kind of like it. That's really yellow. I think that might be pretty. Let's try that and see... Maybe this piece here. You may be sitting there saying, oh my gosh, Charlotte, what are you thinking? But let's um, cut this square one out and see. See what we get with this. You know, the problem with doing a video like this is I don't have a clock in front of me. And I have, I mean, we could be doing this for an hour, hour and a half, and I'm just hanging out. Just hanging out and doing my thing. Be going for pizza and uh, cake tonight. So that's gonna be fun. And then our son, and daughter-in-law had an anniversary yesterday, so it's just been, that's pretty, I like that. So um, let's work on this side, and this is what I am going to do. So let's get with it. Let's just get with it and do it. And I think, this is going to go probably let's cut this off. Hopefully I can get this off with this ruler. Not an issue. That would have been nice to have had this and then this on top of it, but that is not the way this worked. So I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see if we tear this right here. So my lace book is on its way to a new home. So that was nice. I was happy about that. see how much let's see how much this is gonna fill up that that page let me trim this off and I'm gonna cut out the insert because I think we'll put some acetate in here. So if you get something like this, this is what I do. I just punch a hole and I just cut a couple places like that that lets me get to the edge where I can then begin to cut the window out. And then we just follow the lines, cut the center out, and then put acetate in the window. You don't have to. You don't have to put anything inside the windows. You can leave them, but when you take tags in and out, you have to be really careful because you can catch, excuse me, you can catch the edges and you can tear your paper. So I like to put vellum or acetate, something like that, 
just to really protect what's going on. It just kind of protects the integrity of the paper so that you don't have an accident and rip your, pa your pages when you're trying to take a tag in and out of it. Take that off and this goes in the garbage and I'm going to go ahead and remove these corners so when I fold these they fold up easier. I'm going to just take those corners off and now let's fold this up and see what we've got. See if this is going to work or there's going to have to be a plan B. Sometimes with the glare of the lights, it's hard to make sure you're getting, you're seeing your lines and doing what you need to do. And so far, so good. side done. Yeah, that looks good. So let's see what this is going to look like. It'll look like that. And you know what, guys? I like that. I think that's really, really pretty. So we're going to do this. We are going to put this down this down here like that and then I may put something on top of here or if I could pull this all the way over like that maybe I'll do that I like that okay so let's get this down and I think I have found sometimes when you use a glue stick, you get, I don't know if you can see that, even though I will go over this with a brayer, you kind of get those wrinkles, and they're fine, but I think I am going to put wet glue on this because it's just a larger surface, and I'm not, I'm wondering if maybe when you're working in a larger surface, if it just isn't better to use a wet glue. And then hopefully when that dries, you don't really have the issue. And I'm not worried about the center as long as the uh, frame of this is where it needs to be. I'm not at all worried about what's going on in the center. As long as this is down that's what we want. We've got that. And so if we put this, I think I will take and put that just maybe over that just a little bit. And then you've got, ooh, that's really kind of pretty with the two layers like that. So I think I will. But we need to do the acetate on this. So let me grab the pad of acetate and let me get a piece out. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to be off camera to do this. And that piece will not work. So... Cut a piece out. Okay. Open this back up. See where we are with this. It's just a little bit too, too wide. And 
and hard to see. They're on there like that. Just need to cut just a little bit off of here. That's probably in your eyes. Okay, that's gonna work. So, I have to be careful because I don't wanna get the glue on the acetate. Not get it too close to the window. So, let's see. Don't want to have to move it around once I get it down. And push the glue away from the window, just like that. Let's see, I've got just the tiniest bit right here. Cut that off. Hitting just a little bit on this side. Fold this over. Let's see if I can see that. Something on here. That's the outside. That's the outside. I can clean that off. I'm not worried about that. So here we go. Make sure we know what we're doing. And let's glue this down. Okay, here we go. Get this just like that. Okay, we need a tag for here. But this is what that looks like on that side. And I really do like the idea of um, kind of seeing the, the two different layers. Just trim this just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. And then when you open it up, ooh, pretty, pretty. And do I have a tag? I have one of these little guys. That's not going to work. I've got these. I've got this guy. Will he work? Yes, but we need to straighten him out. He's a curly Q. And I think I'd like to, I'm going to put a uh, notch on him. 
But ooh, 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 very pretty. Maybe I'll just leave him in there for now and he'll straighten out. That's pretty. And then I can, I will clean this off, but we do need to put a, uh, put a little tab on him. And um, I think before I close this up, I will put a tab on this as well. And so now we need to do something with this side over here. So what's that gonna be? I have no idea how long I've kept you. Maybe I should say goodbye just because this is gonna run forever. Um, I won't be back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm having, believe it or not, I'm having breakfast with a friend and lunch with a friend. So tomorrow is, uh, yeah, tomorrow's not going to happen. But Friday, I should be here Friday. You know what? I kind of like that. So I might, depending upon what I'm going to do with this, do I want this to be for writing? Or, I mean, we do need some space for writing. You're not going to write on this. You're not going to write on this. So, um, I mean, you will have four tags. So technically we could maybe, I don't know if it would look too much, if it would just be too much to have another window here. Maybe not. I might go ahead and do another window here because, I mean, it looks really, really pretty. So I, I need to think about that. So this is a good place to stop because my brain is um, not real sure where I'm going next. We will finish this and we will finish this on camera, but I need to think about, I don't know if this is too matchy matchy, it might be way too matchy matchy for me and I'll regret that. So I need to think about what we're going to do there. So guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope it wasn't too painful and <laughs> you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'll see you Friday and we will do more. Thanks guys. Bye.